Today I'm going to talk about how to groom your children. Now that may mean neat hair, clean face, clean clothes, shiny shoes. It may mean picking the ticks and mites out of their hair, much the way a chimp grooms its young. Cleanliness is next to godliness. But I'm not talking about <coughs> clean clothes, clean hair. What I'm talking about is grooming your children to be fine, upstanding members of the community. Now what does that mean? To me, that means three simple lessons. One, teach kindness. Two, show a strong work ethic. And three, remain positive. First, teach kindness. The Bible says in Leviticus 19.18, love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Well, to me that means treat people with respect. Treat them the way you want them to treat you. Don't say anything that's not kind. Hold open a door. Lend a helping hand. <clears throat> a few months back, I was at a high school football game, and I saw an elderly gentleman lagging behind the rest of his family going down the stadium steps. And he was holding the rail with every step he took. Eventually, he got to a point where there was no rail. And I can see him seriously struggle to descend those steps. And it was slowly getting one foot down. And then the next. So I got up out of my seat and I walked over and I held my arm out. Can I help you down the stairs? Together, we walked down the stairs slowly. I helped him catch up to his family. During our walk down the stairs, he asked, well, why did you get up and help me? And I replied, well, I could see that you needed help. And I hope that someday, when I need an arm to lean on, that someone will be there for me. When we got down to the bottom of the stairs, and he caught up to his family. I trotted back up to my son in my seat, and I sat down, and my son looked at me and he asked, well, why did you help that old guy? And I gave him this same answer I told the old man. Someday I'll need help, and I hope someone could give an arm to, for me to lean on. And I think that moment he learned the lesson of kindness. My second lesson is teach a strong work ethic. Michael Jordan says, I always do my best and try my hardest, and the results will come. If I give half-hearted effort, I can expect half-hearted results. I tell my children, the work you present is a reflection of you. If it's sloppy and lazy, that's what people will think. My eighth grade daughter had a, a, a school lesson assignment where she was instructed to find a current event of interest and write a summary of it. So she spent quite a bit of time searching the internet for a topic of interest, and for her, that's saving the environment. And she found something that was important to her, and she wrote her paper. Afterwards, I read it, and I noticed quite a few grammar and spelling errors. When I pointed them out to her, her response was, it doesn't matter. This is science, not English. <laughs> <laughs> I pointed out to her again, the work you present is a reflection of you. Dad, I don't care. This is science. A few days later, she received the paper back and she got a C. And she was not very happy. 
The next week she received the assignment again. This time, after spending the same amount of time finding a topic, she spent a considerable amount of time with grammar and, and spelling. The reward was an A. She learned the lesson of a hard work ethic, a strong work ethic. Finally, remain positive. I always believe that if you think you can, you will. Franz Stoppel, Roger Bannister's track coach, said, there's nothing a man can't do if the spirit's there. Well, my oldest daughter learned that lesson just this winter, or just last winter. She was a, a mediocre pole vaulter on her high school track team, and she wanted to improve. So over the winter, we enrolled her in track or in pole vaulting camp. And the first day she came back, I can't do this. I just can't do this. And we persisted in making her go. And, and after a few weeks, all she could do was complain about what she couldn't do and how she couldn't complete it. So I sat her down, and we talked very calmly about all the things that she could do, what you can do, what she can accomplish. And that's what we focused on from that point forward. This is what you can do. And we talked about, all right, you can do the plank. You can do the run. Her attitude towards pole vaulting changed and she improved. And by the end of the spring, she came in first place in the high school regional meet. She learned the lesson of thinking positive, remain positive. There are a tremendous amount of lessons that will teach our children throughout their lives. But for me, the primary three are show kindness, have a strong work ethic, and remain positive. And if we teach those lessons, we will raise fine, upstanding members of the community, even if they look like chimps. <laughs> <laughs>